This is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the law offices of Young Woldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. Good morning and welcome back to Strictly Business. I'm Nick Ortiz with the Greater Bakersfield Chamber. Joined now with Hillary Haynes, um, our director of fun, somebody who does all of the programs for, well, not all of them, but most of them. A majority all of, the, of them. All of the all good the ones. All the fun ones. All the good ones. Well, they're all fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, good morning. Uh, yeah, no, it's another crazy month. I think we, we have this discussion at least once a month about what we're doing and mm-hmm. how many events or programs we're doing. Um, and how we're trying to serve our members this month. So we've got a couple of things coming up, um, a couple uh, of events, but also a couple of things that we think our, our members in the business community abroad need to know about. So This month is jam-packed again. Yes. Some, Lots of ribbon cuttings. Yeah, there's as, nine. This is the most that we've had. I know. Record-breaking. And nine. We, were, we were just talking, I think, you know, during one of the breaks to, to Katie from PG&E about the fact that it's it's great Mm-hmm. To see this many business openings, expansions, Very renovations, healthy for the economy, especially right now, and yeah. that that is a testament to the resiliency of Kern County's economy. But we have even this week, we have three or four. I'm like, what counties. day is it already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it Friday yet? I yes. think is the question. Um, and then we also have program. We have a, a, a our a pancakes morning. and partnerships thing yes. coming up tomorrow. And sponsored by Wells Fargo. All sorts of stuff have, going on. Um, we have pretty good attendance for that. And we're yeah. still, if you know, if you're interested in registering for that, give the chamber a call or, or email me. Um, we're still taking reservations for that. But yeah. that'll be a good event tomorrow. We have uh, Carol Cox from the county purchasing department speaking to small businesses on how they can land contracts with the county. Yeah. And that's what these, you know, these pancakes and partnerships breakfasts are all about. Um, we've done it with Chevron in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, we're trying to get and trying to make the connections between the large organizations that are either involved or members of the chamber mm-hmm. and our small businesses and how can they kind of help each other. So right. it's a, it's a really good program. And, and like you said, Wells Fargo is the sponsor for it and really is looking at, you know, how can they help us help mm-hmm. our, our small business members and their small business customers. And then make those connections with the small businesses too. Yeah. Within, I know there's a really good representation, a, a good mix of, of business owners yeah. who are attending tomorrow. And we've, I mean, we hear, and we're, we're trying, we try to, you know, jot down so we have them, but we hear the stories of connections made mm-hmm. and business being done or, you know, projects that, you know, your people are able to, you know, connect on mm-hmm. and, and things are getting done, you know, business is stimulated, the economy's doing well. And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for people to network, but also, you know, learn about what you need to do in mm-hmm. order to, to land one of these contracts with a bigger organization. Right. That's, that's uh, you know, something you're interested in doing. And, and we, we think it's a, a good program. And, and again, great speaker from the county. They do yeah. a lot of purchasing and they have yes. a lot of policies around that. <laughs> so, you know, you know, come in, learn what those are, learn how to get registered, learn what they may buy from small businesses. It, it starts uh, check-in 7.30 to 8. The program's at 8, about a half an hour maybe, and then Q&A at the end. Yeah. And then that opportunity opportunity to network. Uh, we're serving pancakes, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and <some> other <laughs> hot breakfast food items. So it's 25 for members and then 50 for non-members. Great. Call us at the chamber. Wonderful, wonderful. And then um, also, we were just talking, uh, we will not be doing our Strictly Business um, on the fourth week of March, or fourth right. Wednesday of the March. the 23rd. Because it's the uh, Economic Summit, mm-hmm. which is um, sponsored by KEDC, uh, the chamber, and CSUB. Mm-hmm. So... Um, That is always a sellout. Oh, yeah. Go to our website. Go to KDC's website if you're interested. Hopefully, you can still get in because um, it is always a sellout, Mm well-attended, one of of the events that you really need to attend every year. Great speaker this year, Millennial Focus. Yeah, the focus is on millennials. We're millennials. Yes. So it may be interesting to us or people have to deal with us. (laughs) (laughs) How to approach us now. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Uh, but no, I think it's going to be really interesting. There's yeah. going to be some panels, including Rob and Padgy mm-hmm. from WorkLogic, about you know the generational, you know how do you you know kind of get 
these three generations that are working together to communicate well and understand communication and work styles and, you know, how do, you know, what are the demographics? What is this millennial shift really doing? What does it mean for the economy potentially with our keynote speaker? So yeah, we're, we're, I think it's going to be a really good event. Like I said, go to the Chamber's website or KDC's website Uh because- Get registered. Yeah, you may not be able to get in. And then- Finally, your big project, which is all about, it's all good stuff. It's all it about is all good stuff. celebrating Bakersfield. And, you know, one thing uh, that we really need out of the community mm-hmm. and out of local businesses is to, to help us with this program. And that's beautiful Bakersfield. Yes, we need those nominations. And we have 16 categories. Um, this year, we added four new ones. And those are focused mostly on businesses. So mm-hmm. corporation, small business of the year, business person of the year, and nonprofit of the year. Yeah. Um, those are being judged by our executive board of directors. Um, and then the rest, we have, you know, we have architecture, active adults. We're looking for youth to get the word out to see what the youth is doing for the community, people 20 years um, of age or, or younger. Um, we have humanitarian, individual, and group. Yeah. So if you visit our website, bakersfieldchamber.org, you can download the, the nomination form. It's very simple. Get that in. Um, by March 24th is the deadline, so fast approaching. Yep. But it's such a and then feel the, good. There's going to be a um, evening, an the, evening event yes. in June where this is our annual big gala where mm-hmm. we, um, you know, uh, we celebrate all these nominees, but we also award them. And it's kind of like the Oscars, you know, somebody yeah. takes the stage, announces all the nominees, and then calls up the winner. Top secret. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We need a we need that accounting firm to tabulate all the ballots, um, but yeah, no, it's going to be a great event, and it's June. It's June fourth, yes. Saturday, June fourth, at the Double Tree yep. by Hilton. And there'll be information about how to register, but right now it's all about getting yes. those nominations in, nominating those individuals, businesses, organizations who have completed um, a project or have done something great for the community in 2015. So last year, yeah. and there's been quite a bit. Yeah. No, a lot quite of good, a lot of stuff. A lot of good things happen, and and you know we see this every year where you know mm-hmm. it's just you know you look back on 2015 or last year was looking back on 2014, see all of the involvement in our community, mm-hmm. um, how people have come together, how organizations have you know put you know help people, especially nonprofits with new programs and mm-hmm. increasing programs, and how businesses have really supported our community. That's something that we get a front seat to at the chamber every day. Mm-hmm. Not everybody gets to see that, right. and this is a way that we can really you know promote what's best about Bakersfield and promote what our members are doing mm-hmm. out in the community and celebrate people who are really making changes in, in Bakersfield for the positive and, you know, really improving our quality of life here. Exactly. So. Well, that is all for us on Strictly Business. Thank you for joining us today. Like I said, um, if you are interested in the Summer Jobs Program, PG&E, and being mm-hmm. an employer sponsor of one of those youth, please call the Boys and Girls Club of Kern County. They were nominated last year. They were, For yes. beautiful Bakersfield. That's true. I guess there's like syn- synergy going yeah. on there. Also, if you're um, interested in any of the chamber programs we talked about, feel free to visit our website at www.bakersfieldchamber.org. Thank you very much and have a great week.